to suggest that Tony Parker is a better overall player than Damian Lillard is crazy to me. It's crazy for those people who believe that Tony Parker is better than Damian Lillard. But let's break down why Damian Lillard is a better player than Parker and why this shouldn't even be a debate. This shouldn't even be a debate. Tony Parker is a key contributor who played his role on those championship Spurs teams. He had the luxury of playing alongside the greatest power forward in NBA history and being coached by one of the best coaches in NBA history and Greg Popovich. Let's compare that to Dane and who's the best and who is who's his best teammates so far in his career. His best teammate was the Marcus Aldridge and C.J. McCullough. His best coach was Terry Stotts. Could you imagine Damian Lillard with Tim Duncan and Greg Popovich? If Tim Duncan had Damian Lillard instead of Tony Parker, Tim Duncan would have won seven NBA championships. So during the Spurs dynasty, there were times where Tony Parker wasn't the clear second option on the Spurs team. There were nights where it was Manu Ginobili off the bench, and they needed his production in order to win games. I'm not saying Tony Parker is a scorer, but he didn't ever have the responsibility that Damian Lillard had being a number one option on a contender. Why didn't he have that responsibility? Because he was never as talented as Damian Lillard is. On his best day, Tony Parker can't stand in Damian Lillard's shoes. He can't. That's why I think this is a ridiculous argument. And then they talk about how great of a point guard Tony Parker was, how much he was a facilitator on those Spurs championship team. Well, Damian Lillard averages more assists per game than Tony Parker. Not by a wide margin, but he averages more assists per game than Tony Parker. And we know they're not even in the same stratosphere as shooters. Dame shoots 37% from three-point range in his career. Tony Parker shoots 32% from three-point range during his career. We have nicknamed Damian Lillard, Logo Lillard, because of his ability to pull up as soon as he crossed half court, similar to Steph Curry. Like, I'm going to go to another sport. I'm going to give you another comparison. Will we ever say that Julian Edelman was better than Calvin Johnson? No. Anybody with sense knows that Calvin Johnson is a better receiver than Julian Edelman was. The only reason why we even talk about Julian Edelman and possibly being a Hall of Famer is because of his production in the postseason and playing with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, the greatest NFL coach of all time. That's the only reason why we even talk about Julian Edelman and possibly being a Hall of Famer. Calvin Johnson has always been a more talented player than Edelman. But that's the point that I'm making. People are saying that Tony Parker is better than Dane because of him winning championships. Not realizing that the situation around you matters. It matters. And championships and Super Bowls, last time I checked, they were team accomplishments. Not individual talent. That's team accomplishments. So, like I said, like I think it's crazy. And we got to stop. I think it's just lazy. And, like, we got to look at the, like, what do your eyes tell you? If you're watching a game and you're comparing Dame and Tony Parker, it's clear that Dame is a better player than Tony Parker. It's clear. It's obvious.